I am famous that um, as a kid I used to do magic. Okay, well, just watch that little button. And email from Ben saying, help, I, <laughs> I need some cheap entertainment. Somebody backed out, so I'm your entertainment today. Now, this is going to be a little bit different because um, I suck. No, okay. Um, <laughs> because um, usually when you, if you do a magic show, <laughs> Call magic. <laughs> you do a magic show. Um, usually, the words support the illusions of the magic, and this time I kind of flipped it around, and it's going to be the magic's going to support um, explaining something. I thought uh, the best way to go through for so many people who aren't on the sales side, we have. I want to explain to you what our local sales staff does, and I thought it would be kind of neat. And what I'm calling this is marketing magic, because what they really do and what they have to go through. To get the business that they do is pretty amazing. Um, and so this is dedicated to the sales side, and hopefully everybody else will learn a little bit about um, what they do. Um, a lot of people from the outside will look in and say, you know, sales guys, oh, it's real easy. All you do is meet with the people, go have lunch, and, and do all that, and then all of a sudden you get these paychecks, and it's not anything like that. In fact, most of our sales reps, when they come in, they get an account list, and the account list looks something like this. All right? It's got nothing on it. What they have to do is they have to go and they've got to research the ideal customer profile and they have to go and target these companies that fit numerous areas that can be a good fit for the station. One is do the dollar potential. Do these companies have the ability to spend the money? Um, you've got um, access and credibility. Have you built up some credibility within these businesses to be able to come in and actually teach them a little bit about marketing? So when they're going through this whole process, they have all these businesses that are out there, and they've got to find ones that aren't on the air, aren't spending their money, or maybe spending a small amount of money. So when they, when they go through that process, they've got to start doing the research. And the research will all of a sudden start coming together, and they can paint a picture of what, of what the research is. Once they figure out who, who those companies are and they can start to target them, okay, now they have to really get in depth into, into the, um, what the industry is, learn about their com competitors, go to, so they can try to figure out how to get in and have a meeting with them. Right. So then they sit there and they have to think even further and do, do much more research. So this is where you put the color to all the information you have about them. So I want everybody to rub the colors that they have on, on their shirt. Okay. Rub, rub, and look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's national, but it's not national. It's the worst thing ever. All right. All right, so they got the first step down, right? The ideal customer profile, they go through, they try to find the businesses, and then what they have to do once they get there is try to get into... Oh my God. Don't hurt. All right, so now, now what they have to do is they have to get, get to know the people in the business, right. and they have to try to break into the. Can I have to take no. <laughs> no. All right. Yes. All right. <laughs> now. <laughs> All right. So now, what they have to do is they have to try to penetrate into the business. Ooh. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. They have to. I hate this phone because when it doesn't work, it really scares the shit out of me. Uh, um, they, now what they have to do is they have to get into that business and allow the, or have the company allow them to penetrate within the business to see what the, how the business is run. So this is what they do, which is very different from our competitors. Thanks, Rudd. Took my shake. I'm shaking. There we go.
<laughs> right? All right, so this is where we differ and why our sales staff is so good at what they do. Because what the competition does, they don't do any of the work, they just go in and they blow it up. been able to penetrate into the business and they're building up some, some credibility um, they go in there and they start doing the CNA and some asking a lot of questions and really what they're doing is they're getting into the businesses business so to say but a lot of a lot of companies um, this is where you sit down and you do the CNA you find out the needs you find out about the core con consumer you're finding out what problems they have about the competition so and so forth but there are so many businesses that really run their run their businesses on a tightrope. Oh, yeah. And it makes it very, very difficult for somebody to come in and start talking about their tightrope or even moving the tightrope. So what I'm gonna do, we got this rope, right? <coughs> so a lot of businesses are very protective over over what their um, who comes in, who they talk to, and who what information they give. In, in our um, uh, marketing consultants go in and they actually sometimes have to tell them that they're not doing things right. And they don't really like that very much. So it's kind of like marketing consultants going in there and cutting the rope in half. Now this really pisses people off. Okay? <laughs> because when you walk in and you cut my rope in half, which is the tight rope of my business, then you're really, <laughs> they're going to be annoyed and not trust you. But what they have to learn is is that with our account executives or our, um, our marketing consultants, they are a little bit different because they know what things need to be taken out and where to put them and how to put them back in and how to fix them. And if you, if you use a little bit of the marketing consultant magic, you can actually... Oh, wow. oh. Yeah. is once the, uh, once the uh, marketing consultants <coughs> go into um, the businesses, uh, they've come out with some good ideas. And with us, because we are Cox, we are able to Meteor. come back to them with some great ideas and be able to, whether it's, it's going to be SEM, SEO, radio, um, uh, yeah, digital, all, all digital products, uh, TV, newspaper, print, direct, direct uh, mail. So they come back with a little bit of the... This is going to be really good or this really is good. not? Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you need a rubber mat? Get, what? <laughs> I should have a rubber mat. <laughs> so this is the marketing magic juice. Oh. 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 Oh, he's gonna fall. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so they pour in. Thought process, meaning that 
other places, it's the stations in, in the middle, and then you've got the advertisers, you've got all the other stuff. We turn that around and make our clients the hub. So when we go in there and become partners with them, we, I bought these, I do nothing but just cover the stuff up. Um, we go in and we provide them great solutions using all of our products. So we do a little bit of digital, do a little bit of radio, we do SEO, SEM. Whew. What else do we do? Events. Events, promotions, research, and an egg. What? Yep, and an egg. And then we light it on fire. <laughs> let it cook. <laughs> let it let it cook. I swear if the comes out of this. <laughs> There's a, a game in there. And you make money! <laughs>